everybody, this is your girl, Sister's Intuition. My name is Shelly. Thank you all for clicking onto my video. We're doing a collective message. So this doesn't matter what sign you are, there could be messages in this for you. It is general. It will not resonate with each and every one of you. So please only take the parts that resonates with you in your situation, baby, and leave out what doesn't. Also, I want to let y'all know um, I will be doing a giveaway on free readings once we uh, once the subscribers reach uh, 1,600. So the way that you get involved in this is on my videos that I have posted this week up until we reach 1,600 subscribers will be entered into a drawing. And like I said, as we keep uh, continuing to grow with those numbers, um, we will be giving more giveaways. So that's just a uh, thank you for your uh, love and your appreciation of this channel and me and to continue supporting and helping me grow and get these messages out. So I thank you very much. So what is the message for the collective spirit guide and angels? What is the message? This is what's coming out. What is the message for the collective? Okay, thank you. Okay, so justice. Right now, you need to be careful and watch your surroundings, okay? Watch your surroundings. This could be somebody that you was dealing with before that you had some type of physical abuse uh, that was going on. Justice, I mean, justice is here. That's Libra energy. It could be some type of legal um legal uh, stuff going on with that, but there is some emotions going on around this, okay? You could be dealing with somebody that's got brown eyes or you could have brown eyes. This could be happening within the next few days. There's definitely fake accounts on social media. This is a woman fake profile because this says woman profile. So this person is using a woman's profile, okay? You could be a CEO or a business owner, right? Uh, so yeah, just make sure that you are, um, you know, paying attention. Uh, this person is worried about people's opinion of them, right? Their self-image. They're really worried about this and concerned. Uh, there could be an ending of a job. I do see hazel eyes as well. There could be somebody that's short involved in this. Give me one more shuffle of these and we'll go on. Okay, let's see. Car, truck. This person is talking nasty about you, but you, you are, you're happy, right? You've got this humility. You love helping others. Uh, I see psychic. So you could have some type of a psychic ability, a healer. Yes. Be careful. Watch your surroundings because this person, car, truck, yeah. Watch your vehicles because that's coming out. Um, but yeah, just make sure that you are paying attention, not to scare anybody, but yeah, pay attention. What is the message for the collective spirit, God and angels? Thank you starting over 101 so yes you are starting over and you have this intelligence about you you're out here making a difference right you're helping individuals you know you've got this personal and this spiritual development in this journey that you're going on yourself but you're also making a difference your happiness right you're happy just by yourself you've discovered during your uh, you know, during your journey that you don't need others to be in your life in order to be happy, right? Happiness is linked to yourself. You're expressing yourself. You're growing. You're going through these experiences and you're learning that you have to go through situations and you have to go through failures. That is key. You're understanding this process, right? And you're understanding how you grow and you go after things. <clears throat> so you're starting over, right? You're taking action towards this fresh start. This is a call to action to move forward. The sooner you get going, the sooner you're going to get it. But intuition, yes. Listen to your intuition. You have a big break that's coming. Okay? And you're having to persevere through so many challenges and difficulties right now. And it's not helping that you got these people around you that's absolutely freaking hating on it. You know what I'm saying? What is the message for the collective? You have this rat, baby. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, you definitely got this rat that's working against you. There is some type of sorrow over a loss. Now, this I hope this is not like a physical passing, but there is some type of sorrow over a loss. 
You could be going through a financial pinch in the month of March, but get out there and have some fun. This person is going through a chain of events. A chain of events is happening to them. Uh, whatever they're trying to do is not successful. They could be having somebody pass on their side. There's forces that's working against you. They're trying to work against you because you're receiving a gift, right? You're receiving some type of good luck. You're receiving peace and harmony. What's the message for the collective? Um, what? Okay, July. The month of July could be significant, but hey, I haste that karma. You reap what you sow. Uh, broken wishbone. So this person um, have got them a younger woman. They could have hooked up with a younger woman and it didn't work out for them. And now they're getting some type of karma. Um, this person is really feeling frustrated and tied down right now. Whatever they're trying to do, baby, is not successful. They have a lot of strong passion. Okay. Problems to resolve. Could be some type of legal prosperity saying use your intuition in order to make beneficial change in your life. Have that spiritual love. Be this goal-oriented person. You're going after your goals, right? What is the message for the collective? Yeah, this person is a heartbreaker, baby. they just running around huh, breaking everybody's heart, right? You've had to endure this, but you're not impressed with this individual anymore. You're like, okay, deuces. You're going through a rebirth. The eighth house, a death transformation, growth. You are trying to grow and get away from this heartbreaker, but this person is wanting to be more of the friend. Be careful around your social groups, people that you affiliate with. This person is very irresponsible. They take a lack of accountability and they're a narcissistic gold digger, baby. I hear playing and all these games, but what you're doing is you're having self-love. You're focusing on your home and your stability. What is the message for the collective? Okay. Yeah, there's legal issues. Exactly. Yeah, there is definitely some type of legal issues going on here. This person's out here at fake flexing, baby. They acting fancy. They acting and showing off. Creativity. Yeah, they're trying to steal your creativity, trying to steal your work, copy it. They got love on the brain, baby. They got this nostalgia going on around you. They got this, this romantic love affair. They's out here having sex with people and flirting with people and having a secret lover, baby. They could be having groupies, okay, hooking up with a group of people. Uh, but yeah, be careful about the people around you because there's definitely fake smiles. Yeah, baby, you could be hitting a jackpot. You could be winning some type of money unexpected and you're moving on, right? Carless, car issues. Yeah, pay attention to your damn cars because this person is feeling rejected and they're trying to force their way in. Be careful about your friends. You can't trust some of them. Some of them is going to get you in some type of legal trouble. Yeah. You keep shining, baby, and it's irritating them. They can't fucking stand it. They're trying to come at anything that they can. What is the message for the collective? STD. Yeah, baby, they got out here sleeping around. They ghosted you, went with a third party, you know, giving you all these damn mixed signals. And you block this person where they can't call you, they can't text. Baby, they too late. They coming in, but they too late. Because, baby, you're woke. You know what's going on. You understand the truth. You see this person's true freaking colors. They are getting readings on you, right? You're trying to focus on your health and your wellness and, you know, taking care of yourself. You're in separation from this individual, and you've been doing some soul searching. This masculine stabbed you in the back doing some shady shit, and now they're feeling embarrassed. They're feeling guilt or ashamed. They could have somebody that's got a baby, supposedly, that ain't even theirs. Yeah, there's a secret account. Like I said, it's a female secret account. Uh, this person is underneath a lot of pressure. This person could also be unsure about their sexuality. You know, uh, the, this shit is shattered. They're trying to get some type of evidence on you. That's what it boils down to. They're trying to take you down. Okay. What is the message for the collective? Yeah, this is some petty shit, Spirit is saying. This is some petty shit. It's reckless. You know, you have detached from this shit. You ain't got time for it. Now this person is feeling like this spark, like this gut feeling like you're their soul connection. Now they're feeling jaded. They're feeling hurt. They're got, you know, they got a lack of a motivation, baby, because they are fraud, they are deceit, they are scam artists out here with this sneaky link, with this side piece. They could be drinking or overdoing something excessively. But, baby, you're focusing on your glow up. You're focusing on your priorities, your energy, and this is some toxic, two-faced drama bonding that's going on right now. Bye, Felicia. Move on to the next.
because you want somebody to OG, baby. You want somebody to long term, somebody's authentic, somebody's going to support you. Not somebody's going to get out here and get somebody knocked up unexpectedly. Now they come in here, baby, out of desperation. They are obsessed, okay? Because they see that glow up. They see what you are attracted in. This person denied you. They ran, right? They was a runner, but now they got this financial stuff going on. You could have a secret admirer. Somebody could be sliding into your DMs, but be careful that they don't want to just hook up, okay? Um, but yeah, they had you as a rebound. Um, they had no intentions of staying. It was temporary. There could be some legal matters going on, but uh, yeah, this plot twist. Yeah, this could pop up out of the blue. So yeah, this you need to focus on what's important, what's a priority right now. There could be some type of violence uh, that happens here. Okay, be careful y'all. Bye.